process against the local delay is going to start. Silencing curve, please. We are starting. The church accuses radical local delay because of his heretical theories. Let's now hear the speech by the prosecution, the church. <coughs> Your Honor, we are here to accuse Sir Galileo Galilei in the name of God due to his heretical theories that contrast the truth written in the Holy Bible. Let's now hear from the defendant, Galileo Galilei, how is he going to justify his anti-clerical theories? Today I'm here, and dictated for heresy, although I'm Catholic. I have been accused with, because with my experiments, I proved that Ptolemy's theory is unreliable and I supported Copernicus' way of thinking. Exponents of the Church, have you brought someone to testify your theories? We brought here Ptolemy, an ancient Greek thinker to demonstrate the only rights are telling the truth. Your Honor, I am Ptolemy, and I am here today to support the conclusions of the Church. God created our planet, the Earth, so every star and every planet of the universe must rotate around me. In fact, if you look at the sky, you will find out, even at naked eye, that are the sun, the stars, and the planets rotating around the Earth. The geocentric model doesn't explain the phenomenon that I care to study with a telescope, personal manufactured and upgraded, with a series of events by me. The observations that I made are the following. The moon has a rough surface with mountains and valleys, and seems to be made of the same matter as the Earth. The sun discloses some spots on the surface. The brightness of a star doesn't remain unmarried in time, and four planets of, uh, of satellites rotate around Jupiter. All these discoveries brought me to a series of extraordinary conclusions. The stars are in perfect spheres of pure light and are in the table, something that Ptolemy's model strongly denies. And around Jupiter rotate four satellites, while everything without exception should rotate around the Earth. This demonstrates that Ptolemy's geocentric theory for some aspects is wrong. And at this point, what can assure us that it's not entirely wrong? Now, Your Honor, I want, we, I want with me some well-known minds to support my theories and my experiments. So please, Kepler, expose your theories. Your Honor, I'm Kepler, and like Galileo, I agree with the geocentric theory. I can affirm that the Sun, and not the Earth, like the Church believes, is the center of the universe. Collecting some data by staring the night sky, I took note of the position of the stars and the planets for a long period of time. For example, I noticed that Mars, on January 23rd, 1601, was in a certain position, and the next day it has moved slightly to the left. With the same method, I collected some data about all the other planets. I hope the help of numerous uh, mathematical calculations to our soul for the Church. I understood that the planets move around the Sun in elliptical orbits, not in perfectly circular orbits. With the model of, with the, model of the Universe, I can accurately predict the motion of the planets. For example, using my model, it is possible to predict exactly where the sky Mars will appear in 400 years. The Church can verify the truth of my theory simply looking at the sky through a telescope. Objection! Objection approved. Holy rights are very clear. Their message is inequivocal. Joshua himself affirmed that. Sun stand too still in Gibeon and two moon in the valley of Halion. In addiction, in a passage of the Bible, Job said, God ordered the sun not to rise and fixed the stars. Please, Copernicus, do you want to add something? Well, Your Honor, I'm Copernicus, and I'm here today to support Galileo Galilei's thesis with my appropriate theories and experimental tests. I'm going to prove you how the geocentric system supported by the Church and Ptolemy is completely false and unfounded. In fact, thanks to my experiments, I can affirm that the Sun is at the center of the solar system, while the Earth, like the other planets, has a revolution motion around it and a rotation motion around its own axis. Objection, Your Honor. If the Earth had rotated around the Sun, its speed would be 67,000 miles per hour, and our body would find it out, since if a person had to jump, the Earth would move under its feet, making him land several miles further. 
It's precisely, precisely for this that the fixed stars which we see in the sky seem to move. Ptolemy's theory is paradoxical and too complicated, since it's only based on the early rights. My theory, instead, is based on science and also in early rights. In fact, the sun represents God, and that's why it's situated in the center of the universe. Now, we're la we're last witness, Sir Isaac Newton. Your Honor, and I'm also speaking to the jury. You want to put out the fire of curiosity, the gift that God gave us and distinguishes us from every other living being. You don't understand that this trial is not only against one man. It is an unfair sentence against science. I don't want to go against God. Actually, I want to thank him for making me a man. And as such, I won't keep my mouth shut in front of an unfairness. Now, I want to prove you that this man, Galileo Galilei, is not man. So let's start. When an apple fell from a tree over my head, I started thinking about the gravitation and the reason why the moon doesn't fall on the earth like an apple falls on the ground. These ways of thinking brought me to publish in 1687 my book, Philosophia Naturalis Principia Mathematica, in which I explained the three universal laws of motion. Moreover, I discovered a new physical law, the law of universal gravitation, which states that a body attracts other bodies in the universe using a force that is directly proportional to the product of the masses and inversely proportional to the square of their distance. So as a consequence of my law, it's wrong to say that the planets rotate around the sun, since the attraction is reciprocal. In fact, they both rotate around the common center of gravity. But because of the enormous mass of the sun, the center 